See, this I think is a post-COVID phenomenon where experience now occupies center stage now in whatever you do, whether it is travel, whether it is going for a concert, whether it is even you know buying a movie ticket or whether it is even dining out. This is where I think things have changed and things have decisively changed in the way how Indians will consume and how Indians want to consume. So we can look at the good old data, okay, you know, uh, rural demand and toothpaste sales and soap and shampoo, they would tell you which way demand patterns are moving. The answer to that is absolutely no. Now what that means is that the new millennial or even, you know, the experiential crowd now is ready to go out, ready to experiment, ready to travel and that is the way where binge spending has already started and you know there are credit card offers there is the AMI on which you can even buy a iPhone or even buy a uh, you know you can actually buy concert tickets on EMI that's what everybody is now offering to the banks if you buy them so this entire EMI plus new experiential binge which India is going through will have a different kind of an impact on which how things would move in terms of how your, uh, you know, how your uh, consumption patterns would evolve. So suddenly you may actually see outperformance which is there, let's say in Zomato. That explains why trend is doing much better than the traditional dominated uh, textile players. Why suddenly Make My Trip and Indian hotels are doing much better. So this is a new pattern which has changed and this I think is a multi-year phenomenon. The way India was spending versus how India is spending and how India would spend and I think that is getting captured in the way how QSR stocks are down and Zomato stock is up. At the same time, HUL has done nothing but an urban FMCG company like Ethios or you know others have really hit a multi-year high.